Hello everyone, Nick with Able Cine here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at some unique gear in Aries remote ecosystem. I've set up a stabilized remote head, or SRH3 as Aerie likes to call it, holding a mini LF camera and zoom lens. Nearby here, I've got Aerie's digital encoder head, or DEH1, with a set of Aerie master grips to control the lens. In this day and age of remote work and social distancing, camera solutions that allow for some space between the operator and the gear are more relevant than ever. So let's have a brief look at what makes these ones special. If you've seen movies like 1917, then you're already familiar with the look provided by the capable SRH3 remote head. We're going to focus more on how the DEH1 and master grips can improve an operator's ability to get great shots with more precision. One of the common complaints that we're hearing from operators thrust into this new world where remote operating is becoming as typical as normal operating is that it's difficult for them to transfer their camera skills and instincts over to a remote control. While it's true that there are many excellent joystick style broadcast controllers, and in the case of Aries SRH3 at least, very good gear head style wheels to control the camera, many operators don't have the skill set necessary to get the most out of those tools. But what pretty much every operator does have is a good working knowledge of a fluid head. This is where the DEH1 comes in. In partnership with Cartoni, Aerie has developed a novel take on the remote control. For those not familiar with it, the DEH1 gives you the adjustable fluid drag that you would expect from any Cartoni fluid head, but then translates that movement through the SRH3's remote to camera movement at the head side. Other gimbal and stabilizer manufacturers have released similarly minded motion sensing remotes, but those tend to be small sensor boxes that need to be mounted to something else. While those can easily be placed to a regular fluid head, there are quirks and issues present with those that I think Airy has solved with the DEH1. The first thing that you notice about the DEH1 is its unique layout compared to a traditional fluid head. One of the headaches of using a motion sensing controller with a normal fluid head is fighting the counterbalance system and dealing with your accessories like a monitor or a wireless receiver tilting along with your shot as you move. Airy and Cartoni have solved this elegantly by designing a system that is purpose built so there's no counterbalance spring to fight and the top platform doesn't tilt along with the pan arms as they're moved. They have added a simple counterbalancing weight system to account for the attachment of controllers like the master grips to the pan arms. This way, you can still get that neutral balance before you set your fluid drag level. The DEH1 uses Aerie's established LBUS connectors to talk to the SRH3 through the SRH3 remote. Aerie master grips can be daisy chained in to allow control of the lens and the camera through a set of C-Force motors plugged into the head. Just like with a set of master grips attached to the camera, full operator control of focus, iris, and zoom is possible. An important feature of the encoder head is a simple enable disable switch or kill switch. Pressing this button temporarily disables input from the control to the head to allow the operator to safely walk away or simply to reposition the encoder without causing the SRH3 to do unwanted or dangerous movement. It's important to note that the DEH1 isn't a standalone controller and it's designed to work in tandem with the SRH3 remote, which provides power and menu control to the encoder head. Connecting them is simple, as provided your SRH3 remote has up-to-date firmware, it recognizes the encoder head upon boot and asks if you want to enable it. Once enabled, you might notice that the axis control has changed to angle, where it would more typically be speed when using a joystick. That's typically the setting you'd want, as it's more precise, but it does give the quirk of changing how you would adjust the pan and tilt speed of your controller. If you're using angle, you need to change the ratio setting rather than the speed setting, which works in a method similar to changing gear ratios. For example, if you were to set the pan ratio to 30, that would cause a 90 degree pan on the encoder to move the remote head 180 degrees. Little quirks like this make using the DEH1 take a bit of getting used to, but the benefit of being able to apply years of fluid head experience to operating a remote camera make it very worth it. After a little bit of acclimation, I was surprised by how intuitive it was to use this control scheme to operate a remote camera. The ease of use of this system is a big step forward. And since Airy also makes available range boosting external radios like their ERM2400 uh, and their own wireless video transmitters and receivers like this WVR1 here that specifically avoids the frequency space used by their lens control systems and their stabilized remote heads, their wireless ecosystem is poised to make operating a camera from a safe distance as seamless as possible. If you're looking to capture very cinematic camera moves with minimal retraining, then Airy makes a very strong case for the DEH1 and SRH3. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.